so now we have learned in our previous sessions how to traverse through the elements in different ways we have seen it how the javascript supports those all things we have seen so children first element child and query selector get element by id these are all the things we have seen it now let us learn how to insert an element or how to delete an element so the when we traverse it to a particular element how we can uh, insert in a particular element or how we can delete an element those type things which let's try to see it in the javascript <coughs> For example, let's say that I am having here UL LI. So this is our anchor link. So like this we are having. Okay, so this is our anchor link. Now here let's say that now my my requirement is I want to insert a paragraph element here. So this is a paragraph. Like this, I want to insert through the JavaScript. Okay, I want to insert it through the JavaScript. So how I can insert it? Let's try to see. So first, what I need to do? So first, I need to get that particular element. Before getting that particular element, I need to create an element that is nothing but paragraph element. So paragraph elements. Let's create a paragraph element. Document dot create element. So whenever you want to create an element through the JavaScript, you need to create an element like this. Of p. So I am creating an element that is nothing but a paragraph element. So any element if you want, you can create it using this one tag name. You need to give the tag name here. So now I have created a tag, created an element. Let's try to see console.log of p. <clears throat> if I try to see, if I try to show you that console.log of p, if I try to run it here, and here you'll be able to see the same object. So we, when we are trying to traverse through an HTML element, and when we and when we got that one through query selector or get element by ID, so what we have got the object, the same object when you have created an element. So this create element method will wrap an object that is nothing but this all document object it will try to wrap it so that now for this element whatever the thing you want to do you can do it so for example I want to add here a content so this is a paragraph I can add it like this this is a paragraph okay and if you want to style it you can also style it p dot style dot uh, background color so you can apply whatever the things you want to apply you can do it for this one now you have created an element and you have did all the changes whatever the changes you want you have did it to this element now what is the requirement for me i want to attach this element here in the anchor link okay so in this anchor link so say here here i need to add it. the same thing here i need to add it so how can i add it is first you need to get the li element so how can i get that li element is we already know where li is equal to document dot query selector of li so i will be getting the first li so here you will be having only first li right so i can get an li or otherwise you can get, get through this uh, class or anything anyway anyway whatever the things we have learned it so through any ways we can get this li so now i got the li so what i need to do i need to attach this one into the li so for appending the element or for inserting an element so we have a method that is nothing but li dot append child okay. append child of so what is the element i want to append p element so i will add it like this now if you try to see the output see here i am able to attach it so for example if i try to see the inspect element if i see this inspect element here this is the li this is the li element and anchor link so this uh, after the anchor link we are able to attach this p tag for example if i want to attach in the anchor link means i can take this anchor link inside this anchor link i can attach it now if you try to see inside the anchor link you will be having so he this is an anchor link and inside this anchor link you are having link one and also a paragraph so like this you will be having so like this you will be creating an element and also attach the element into the dom so this is one thing for example let's say that we have attached it to the end of this one right so here we have attached it but i don't want this one to be attached at the end i want to attach this one at the starting okay here i need to attach it so here i need to attach it then what i need to do so here we got the li element okay so i need to attach it 
before at the starting not at the ending so whenever you use this append child it will it will attach it at the end of the as the end of the child here so for the children so at an end of the children so it will add it as the last children it will add this append child but i want to add this p paragraph element as the first child so how can i do it is for this one we have a method that is nothing but li dot insert before okay insert before of paragraph element so now we got an insert before of paragraph element so here if i try to see the output so here we are not able to see the output right so we need to tell that before which input i mean to add so insert before means not only to the first element so if you are having multiple elements also so to the before which element i want to add it we need to mention it so here i want to add it for the anchor link so here i can take that li dot first element chain okay so i can take it like this li dot first element chain so in the li we are having so here in this li i am taking the first element chain or otherwise you can do the query selector and all those things also you can do it but we are making use of the methods which we have learned now where i need to insert it before the anchor link so here i need to insert it now if you try to see the output here so here you will be able to see it so here the p tag has been attached before the anchor link okay before the anchor link so that is nothing but which ang which may element you will be mentioning here it will attach it before that one so this is about the insert before so how we need to attach this element so this is like this we will be attaching or otherwise i want to remove this li element so whatever the li element i have taken this li element i want to remove this li element so how can i remove this li element is so we can use li dot remove so i can use li dot remove automatically that link will be removed if you try to see here there are also other other methods also so for example let's say that you got this li method and you can take this li and go to the parent element and i want to remove the child so whatever the child you want you can remove it and here you need to mention the same li so then also it will try to remove it so like this also you can there are so many different options which are available so there are so many options so how to delete and how to add it so there are so many options are available so out of these things i am telling you in order to get an idea so basic things so i am telling you the things here so like this also you can remove it or otherwise we got afterwards we got a handy method so catch the tele element and afterwards you can simply do this one so you can also do like this remove also or otherwise previously we used to we used to go to the parent element so what is that parent element we are having let's go to the parent element and we will remove the child so remove the child means in that element we are removing the children so what is the children i want to remove it there is nothing but an li only so like this also you can mention it then also it will be removed so like this we can insert we can create an element we can insert the element and also we can delete the element so like this we can do it so like this we can traverse through the dom and we can do whatever the manipulations you want through the html so this javascript doing this all manipulation the html it will take so much uh, it will have it will take so much of lines execution so much of lines it will be having but the javascript is the plain old uh, boilerplate implementation right so we need to do it like this only so we have the frameworks and all those things which will uh, decrease the work and all those things these are all things but under the under the behind the scenes these are all the frameworks and all the things work like this only so doing all these things so this is all about the insertion traversing the document inserting and all those things so you, you learn about this append child and also the insert before and also the remove child also i have told you how to remove the child and also remove so these are the things and now another one is the create element so whenever you want to attach a new element means which is not available in the drum so you, when you are creating through the javascript means you need to use the document dot create element paragraph and same whatever the things you want to try to apply those all the things you can apply it like this p dot text content style dot background color you can attach an event handler for this one we'll try to learn about this event handler afterwards so whatever the things you want to apply you can apply it and you will attach that element to the dom after preparing all those things so these are these are all about the document uh, manipulation methods